Right. Um, do you want to introduce yourself to the the people? Um, in Tong Khan, we with Roshan of um, we're up here in Westmeath on the solar farm for shore engineering. We're doing land drainage, basically getting the water out of the wet spots of the land they have acquired. There's in the, somewhere in the region of around 600 acres acquired for solar farms here, and we're using the Uni Control GPS here on a 145 case digger. We're digging tile drains. Uh, we're digging tile drains, stoning, piping, and we're half filling the drains with stone for them. Um, we got drawings from Shore Engineering. They're not entirely happy because uh, some of the drawings were done when land was flooded and very wet, and we were finding they weren't picking up all the wet spots. So at this stage, we're extending some lines or maybe changing the position of lines altogether and we're able to do that, we're able to map it, we're able to export it to the lads inside in the office. We're basically self-sufficient in the in the execution of the draining here and they're very happy with what we're able to do because of the only control. Very good. And tell me, Tom, I suppose, yeah, you, you said there already that you had uh, you had initial drawings that were obviously surveyed when, when places were flooded and they didn't actually get the low spots. Um, and basically there was no redesign. You're, you're, you're plotting out the new lines of drainage from the low spots. Yeah, we were able to just touch the bucket to the ground. We were able to see the very lowest of the ground. And we're making sure that we pick up all these low spots. Now we are using the outfalls to where the design tells us, but we are changing quite a bit of the drainage. And um, so it's to ensure that basically when the next man comes in here working, because he's not standing inside in water. 100%. And, and like you said, you've all, all your information then. You're obviously you're able to plot your own lines using the the drawing function of Uni Control itself. So as yeah. you're as you're surveying, yeah, it's it's actually very simple. It's very simple to set up first, and secondly, it's very simple to use, and it's also very simple to export it to the office. Yeah, and yeah. and as the man said, Tom, you, you, I remember fitting the first couple of machines with you there. You actually didn't get any training, so you're you're more or less self-taught, and this maybe I, the yeah, this phone is, call. This is really the first substantial bit of work I've done with it, and I have to say, like, to the to the piece of cake. Yeah, there is there is nothing into it. Yeah, and there's there's no need to be afraid of technology. All I can say is it makes my life so much easier. You're not going in now checking levels with laser levels, or you're not trying to work fast with pipe lasers, and you're some of the area here now where we're actually doing the video is actually the finest bit of ground we got. We were wading through two or three feet of rushes and reeds and places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know where lasers and things won't work, but the GPS is 100% it knows where it is. That's, it knows that's, the level to that. And yeah. as I say, we plot it as we go and... Yeah. It takes takes the guesswork out of everything. There's no guesswork. Yeah, There's yeah no and you're not... Work. You're not wasting time there with a the laser level trying um, to find no. Wh where are where is the low spot here, and we're not trying to find what depth do we need to be down because you can actually, as no, you we're, said, we're we're basically you now we're we didn't even get levels on the design drawings. We are working all the levels, okay, because they're looking for six hundred cover, so it doesn't clash with ducting that will be coming afterwards. I know what you mean. The DC doctrine between the panels has a minimum cover of 600, so we have to be below that. Well, that's, that's, that's mighty stuff. I suppose, Tom, one last question. Would you recommend Uni Control to, to, other, to other users? Uh, Are people thinking of getting, we'll say people that might be thinking about getting involved in the, in the GNSS side and the machine control? Well, for our job here, I have one man with me that's drawn me down a few loads of stone in a dumper 
a nine ton dumper. We have Joel wheels for the nine ton dumper now for the wet spots. He draws down the stone, probably only using 40 or 50 ton a day, not even that some days. Only other thing he's doing is laying the pipe. There's no engineer needed. So it's definitely a labor saving. It's saving it's the labor of a man every day or very close to every day anyway. As probably would be saving a good share on the materials as well, Tom, I suppose. Yeah, yes. we're definitely saving the materials because you are never over digging. And saving on diesel probably because you're never doing work that doesn't need to be done. Yeah. You're only doing exactly what needs to be done and finishing what needs to be done. And yeah, I couldn't I couldn't say enough good about having a GPS in your machine out there. And the only control, as I say, it's very simple. I can't speak. I can't speak anything really bad about it now. It's it's doing exactly what we were told to do and it's doing exactly what we needed to do. 100%. Tom, thanks very much for your time. No bother.